Whoever is responsible for controlling the weather, I would like to say thank you for finally getting rid of all the snow. One or two videos ago, we were literally right here painting on like a foot of snow. Thank God that's gone. So I picked this thing up on the weekend. I picked this up from one of my friends who actually knows way more about Hondas than I do, but he said that he bought it and he upgraded his brake booster and it doesn't fit now. So because he has a bigger brake booster, you can see this thing barely clears. Because his is bigger, this doesn't fit. So he gave me this for like 10 bucks. It's a new speed. I don't know anything about them. It's not like a million dollar one. Apparently it's just like, it's okay. It, it is what it is. So I grabbed this thing for literally 10 bucks. I just wanted to make sure that the holes lined up like it was actually gonna fit, but it looks like it's mint. So what I think I wanna do before I install this guy, obviously we need to get the motor and everything in, but I probably wanna just sand it down once because if you look up close, it's got a lot of nicks out of it. It's kind of custy, but it's not horrible, but like we just painted the engine bay and everything's gonna be so fresh. So I'm probably gonna rip this new speed sticker off paint this thing black, put a Cometa Crew sticker on it, and then it will be mint. So Jordan, thank you. I test fitted it, it works. I also picked up the shift linkage for the uh, LS transmission that we're gonna be putting in this thing, so that's less exciting, but I did do that. And I picked up just a couple of motor mounts. I'm pretty sure I only needed the one silver one. I'm not 100% sure though, so I just took all of them, and that's a huge shout out to the BC Honda Owners Club. Man, every time I need Honda stuff, I just go there. I need this. Boom, got it right away. This stuff's all outside because it was in Courtney's car and she went to work this morning at like 6.30 and I was like, yo, I'm not getting out of bed, but please take everything out of your car because I need it today. And I haven't been able to film in the garage with the door open for so long, it feels like. It makes the garage feel so much bigger when I can have this door open. Dude, I'm so excited. This is literally all the snow we have left. So I think I'm gonna start today by swapping that electric motor out of there. Um, and then probably just putting whatever I can back for now. I just wanna clean up all that shit on the ground. So this morning we're gonna start by reassembling the front end of this bad boy. My bad. Let me just fill that guy in there. You guys will never even know. It was bound to happen though. Like I'm installing it, everything back into the engine bay. At least I scratched it right away so it doesn't happen later when I get like everything in there perfect and then the last thing scratches it. I'm gonna leave a couple things out though. Like there's a couple vacuum lines for like the brake booster that bolt up right here, but I still gotta do the wire tuck and somehow get a wire up into here. So like that's gonna stay for now. The charcoal canister and all that trash that just takes up room. I'm just gonna leave everything out so that it's as easy to drop this engine in as possible. Then we'll put that stuff back in. Also something I just want to say really quickly while I'm thinking of it is that the committed crew Instagram up until now has just been like when we're doing a drop or like when we're launching a product I show you guys but what I want to start doing is using it as like my second Instagram so if you go look it's only probably at the time this video goes live it's probably only the two most recent photos but the two most recent photos are like way better quality and they're like actual cool photos so so I'm gonna start using that one obviously stuff for product shots and stuff but it's gonna be like more frequently used. It's not gonna be just when there's a drop or just whenever. There's gonna be like photos of the merch all the time and that is the number one spot to know when there's a drop, when it's going live, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys are following the committed for Instagram right here. And look who showed up right on time. The smart, educated, young, handsome, Asian, Mr. Emerson. You wanna see some cool shit? Pull the e-brake up on the sieve. Get ready. Yeah, it's good enough. It's not fully in the sun, but it's there, you get it, you get the point. Oh, now you can see it. It's cool, right? And you can see it from everywhere. Like, it doesn't matter where you're at, you see the the effect. That looks mint, dude. When I first rolled it out, it almost, on the screen, it almost looked like it was, like, dirty or something. Hey, did you get tape on your way? No, I thought we were gonna go like that. Oh, we're gonna go together? Yeah. Oh, okay. You wanna do that right now? Okay. I'll drive. Take the Civic? Well, All right, you be the engine, and I'll drive. There, hold on to your motor mounts, you ready? Yeah, one sec, let me start it here. Oh no, Rodnock, Rodnock, turn it off, turn it off. Whew. 
Okay, yeah. We're gonna need some work before we, uh, before we start this bad boy up again. Emerson hates me because he wants to go and get this done, but I told him I really want to do an oil change. Can you wheel the jack down? That's all I'll make you do. Look like Mr. Lube here. I thought you were Mr. Lube. Does anybody else do this when they're changing their oil and they forget what size their drain plug is and they just grab like every freaking socket? <laughs> At least then you have them all. Dude, this thing looks like it's about to take off in outer space. That's oh. oh no! Oh yeah. Join the club. Oh, she's juicy. Bye bye. Dude, the oil's still like clear. Cause you haven't been in it. I know. There's only like 2,000 kilometers on this oil, but it's just been in here for like eight months. Take a picture of me and Bay. Ow! <laughs> I'm so face. So we are gonna hit it with five and a half fresh liters of liquid Molly. Liquid. I always say liquid. There's no D. Here, dude. I'm kind of oily. Do you want to give it a quick cold part? Okay, so if you guys remember about a month ago, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw that we were doing like a video. We were in the middle of filming something and it was carbon fiber and right when we went to install it, we realized it was damaged. We ordered some carbon fiber piece for the car and when it showed up, it was damaged. It was damaged in shipping. And I was like, yo, this item was damaged and the company was like, hey, actually, all the items that we sent out between the like two week time frame got damaged in shipping, so it led them to believe something was wrong with the way they're being produced, like that batch of them, something was wrong. Um, so unfortunately, this is not what I originally ordered. This is something different, but they were like, look, we're sorry we put you through all this hassle, whatever. Here is a carbon fiber duct bill for the BRZ. So this isn't what I was intending to do, and I'm still planning on doing something else down the road. And putting this on right before we put on the wheels is gonna give it just a little bit more. When we put these wheels on, it's gonna be sick. I'm just waiting on tires, then we're gonna throw the wheels on. Okay, you ready? Idiot! <laughs> First thing he does is chip it in the same I'm spot. Sorry. You're so lucky that didn't break. <laughs> you dumbass. Okay, can we try and unveil this again? Jesus Christ. Boom! It's literally the exact same carbon fiber duck bill that like 90% of BRZ owners have. I, that's why I, you know, I didn't really want to get it at the beginning. I was more stoked to get first item, but it still is mint, eh? It's pretty cool. Pretty sturdy. I think it looks sick still though. So. We already unboxed it, checked it. This one is not damaged, but if you see any white spots, those are just packaging floofs. Yeah, I just need to make sure that it's gonna cover the holes, because there's holes right here. Oh, Courtney's locked out. Yay, thank you. We went to a bunch of breweries on the weekend, and uh, me and Courtney found a beer that we actually really enjoy, so she picked up some on her way home, because she's the best. It's called Flamingoose. So let's start by trying to pop this thing off and see how this is held in there. One hole through the trunk, and then just some tape, I think. There's no tape, man. That's so weird. There's like a little gushy gasket, but that's it. I expected tape. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll hold it just in case. Yeah, give her a good grab. Oh yeah, there is in the middle, yeah. Yeah, this is probably what it's what's holding it in there. Pass me that little screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Oh, I swear to God, I thought there was tape. That's so weird. Foam and then little push tabs, which I totally thought yeah, there would be more. This, this is like foam though. Now we find out. You gotta clean him. If wing two even worked. What do you mean? Well, what if it doesn't cover all the holes? Then we just have two friggin' want to want to be install videos. This is the moment of how badly we fucked up. Just clip it. Am I on here? See, I fucking told you it wasn't gonna cover the hole. Frickin I can put it on, but then what? Then it's gonna look dumb as shit. You could put oh, just put tape, like behind it first, until you figure out solution. But at that point, you gotta take it off anyways. We get a different trunk. And put this one on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I were to cover these holes with something, it would. You know different. what? Jack has a BRZ. He has a base model. Same color. Tell him to come over here right now, and I'll straight track. Well, I'm pretty sure he's working. I don't care. Tell him to put his job. Okay, so I guess this guy's going back on. Birds just bombed your car today. It's disgusting. Okay. While we wait for Emerson to find out if I'm gonna get a. Uh, Another trunk today? Courtney's engine light came on today, which is awesome. It came on like a week ago, but it was her engine, or her gas cap. She intended enough when she got gas, but she hasn't got gas since, and it came back on, so 
EVAP small leak, P0442. A loose fuel tank filter cap is the most common trigger. But maybe your cap's just garbage. Just a small EVAP leak again, so it's probably just her gas. She didn't get gas though, so it might just be junk. Jack say yes? What's the deal for you? Yeah, is he coming tonight? Yeah, that's the only problem. I want these guys to have a video tomorrow, so I'd, maybe we'll go get it tonight. One of Emerson's friends who actually has a BRZ, but he has the base model, said he would trade trunks with me, which is mint. I don't want to mess around tonight, so Emerson's gonna back the car in right now. We're just gonna rip the trunk off. Rip over to his house, swap trunks with them. Okay, keep going. Yeah, you're good, 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 good. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. Now that, now that I realize I got a memory card in there, we have made it home, we have the trunk. It still has the badging on it, which kind of sucks because like I said, I don't own a heat gun or anything. So what I'm literally probably gonna do is just put the heater close to it and kind of like melt these off. Anyways, I feel like this was a little bit more work than I was expecting to have to do just for the friggin' duck bill, but it is cool because it's gonna probably make me appreciate it a little bit more. So I'm gonna slap all the electronics back inside this. It's super easy, you just feed them up through here and then wire everything up. I'm gonna wire everything up and then we can get the badge on and get the trunk on. Or the, you know, the wing. This thing's like a million degrees, so it should heat up pretty quick. I just pulled this off with my fingers. All it needed was just a tiny bit of heat. <laughs> just gonna hit it with a little bit of goo gone. The only problem with doing this is that this trunk is a little bit older, and having been in the sun for, you know, a couple of years, there might be a little bit of sun fade back here. Okay, so I took a clay bar and some wax, because you can kind of see like the sun fade right here. This is where I'm pretty sure it's gonna go over, so I left it. Um, I'm gonna, I don't want to put too much wax on something and then tape over top of it So I'm gonna try and put it on and then we'll go back and just kind of wax off everywhere else But I think it looks pretty good. I think it did a pretty good job and then when we were out at Lordco earlier We just got some 3m. This is just like the Classic adhesive tape stuff that everybody uses got the one that was specifically meant for automotive trim So it's literally called automotive attachment and it's got a little guy putting some stupid piece on his Hyundai. I might end up putting a screw into it, but what I want to do first is just put it on with the two-way tape, drive around for a bit, see how it is, and if it has, if I have no issues, then I just will leave it that way, and if I have issues, maybe I'll put some screws in it, but I've never actually done this. I have no idea how well it's gonna work. I'm gonna use over here where I cut already. The least amount of it I can have grabbing when I put it on, the better. Okay, so now this is the part that I was waiting to get Emerson to do because it makes me really nervous because I don't want to mess it up. Just have to make sure that it gets lined up properly. Look at that, babe. Work first try. Give it a good, good little squash on there. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh my God. I was worried about how the carbon would look on the blue. I was kind of going for like a full carbon trunk or something idea. I thought that might've been a little bit cooler. But like this actually looks really badass. It's not perfectly lined up. It's not like 100% dead center. It's a little bit off. But I think I'm probably the only one that's gonna notice that. You guys probably wouldn't even be able to tell. Let's roll it out, check it out outside in the light. And then we can leave you guys just a little bit more hype for putting these wheels on this car. Like I said, this isn't what we were going for. This isn't what I originally ordered. This isn't what I had in mind at all. Um, but it looks sick. I'm actually really stoked with how it came out. Like, I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. It looks so good. It's got like, it's nice because it's not like a super, super big swoop. Like it's not really, really aggressive, but it does look really nice. It ended up sealing pretty good all the way across and it just looks mint. It just brings out a little bit of extra from this car. Like it brings out like the tail lights. The tail lights pop huge now because of this carbon fiber thing. I think it brings out like the blackness in the windows too. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy that little edit I did. I wanna do a nice one of the car actually, but I'm waiting till I get the wheels on to 
to spend my time doing a nice edit. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you guys are stoked. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you answer the poll that was somewhere in this video about how you enjoyed the length of these guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. Peace out and stay committed.